Okay, Truth Crew, we are back in the house. And carrying on from where we left off, kind of. This is volume seven now of the um, Soul Voyage series. And we're actually talking about soul families now. Soul families. So it's a continuation. Hey, Laurie, thanks for nipping up back in, my darling. And thank you for inviting um, your followers and your communities. You're looking forward to this one. Yeah, they get deeper as we go. Okay, and they're all kind of interconnected. Thanks very much, guys, for sharing on. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. So now we're looking at soul families. This is Disclosure 7. Hey, Sher, how are you doing, my darling? Thank you for coming in. And so we've got seven bullet points again for our soul family stuff. Just adjust my screen. It's a little bit wonky, I think. There we are. That's a little bit better, I think. Okay, very cool. All right, so we are looking, guys, at soul families. Okay, first point. So soul families, Truth Crew, is a group of souls that gather that vibrate at a similar frequency that have a similar group mind. Okay, that's point number one. Thanks very much. It's pretty cool, isn't it? That's YouTube and it's playing in the background. <laughs> okay, cool, beautiful. So that is our first point. Yes, I will I'll say that again. Soul families, first point for soul families is... A group of souls that gather, vibrating at a similar frequency with a similar group mind. Okay, so it's as though we kind of have similar interests in a way as our soul family. Yeah, it's like our soul, our soul tribe kind of thing. All right. Now, this is our second point. Our soul families, Truth Crew, are not necessarily for our best, just like our human families Okay, so you may be born into a family, just to, just to have it make more sense in your minds right now, okay? You're born into a human family, and there could be like a lot of um, challenge, a lot of adversity, a lot of difficulty with your human family. The same thing can happen with your spirit or soul family, okay? So that is um, a very, very important point to make a note of there, yeah? So here we go on to our third point. Yeah, yeah, Maria Modiganis, how are you doing? Hello, Maria. Okay, so the third point, guys, is that human family is not necessarily your soul family. And soul family is not necessarily are not necessarily members of your human family. Okay? So it's very important again to know. So you may have members of your human family that are soul, soul family, or none at all, yeah? You may have, bonsoir to you, how you doing, Salif? Lovely to have you. Or you may have the opposite thing going on, yeah? You may have members of your soul family that are not your human family and vice versa, okay? Yeah. Um, so that was at that point. Very, very interesting. Now, now listen to this one. This one is... Um, one of those truth bombs, okay? Here's a truth bomb right here. We can leave destructive soul families. Yeah, we can. So it doesn't mean that you're stuck with them, yeah? Some soul family members I've found are not good for me, says Laurie. Yes, that's absolutely true, my darling. So in a way, we can kind of like um, sort of divorce ourselves from our soul families. There are certain techniques that you can use where, where you can actually do that. Yeah. So um, we can actually leave our destructive soul families. It may actually mean that you're not actually um, um, vibrating with them anymore. Yeah. Like you may have done until a certain point and then you can actually move on from there if you need to. Hey, Maria, how you doing, honey? Yeah, it's absolutely true. Right. We don't have to belong to a soul family. That's the next point. We don't actually have to belong to a soul family. Now, I kind of see myself as a free roaming intergalactic citizen. Hello, my love. As opposed to belonging to a certain group. Or we can belong to many. Yeah, so we can be in and out of different soul families. Yeah, kind of like Periscope in a way where, you know, 
you will come to this transmission and go to another one and you can belong to many simultaneously or none at all. It really is your sovereign choice. And this is what we need to understand because there's so many misconceptions about soul families, right, Truth Crew? Thinking that you must belong here and you must belong there. Do they sell your books at Barnes & Noble, America's largest bookstore? Well, that's very funny that you mentioned that because I was made an offer to do that, but the contract was so rubbish that I turned it down. So I'm actually going to be reworking, you know, the whole contract stuff in my book. It's currently available on Amazon, but in terms of like, um, you know, the proper publishing, I haven't really, see, I made it my choice. I didn't go to them because they chose me. I turned it down. And when the right thing comes along, I will take it on. So that's what you want to do with your soul families too, okay? The name of my book. The name of my book is The Miracle Frequency. The Miracle Frequency. And if you go to my website, fusion7healing.com, or to Amazon, you will find it there, okay? What about Google Books? Not on there yet, just on Amazon and, um, oh, one more that I can't, I can't remember the name of. Yeah. So um, we can have multiple soul families, guys, and we can be involved in conflicts with other soul families or soul groups, okay? That's another, that's our seventh and most valid point about soul families. We can be involved in conflicts with other soul groups or soul families, and the function of which is to exit duality, okay? So this can be com confusing too, because sometimes we meet people and we think they're soul family, but they're not. They're actually from another soul group or soul family, and they're there to teach us some kind of a contrasting situation normally. So those are our seven points, Truth Crew, about soul family, right? So did you have any questions that you wanted to ask about soul groups or soul family before we shut shop on this transmission? And uh, we will, it does, I'm glad, I'm glad it helps you, my love. Yes, fantastic that it helps, beautiful. What's your name? You've got two yours, but I don't know your actual name. Love and Light Kathy, thank you for coming in, my darling. Do you ever do events in New York City? No, but if you would come and invite me, I'll do them. I've done some in Thailand, England, and in Cyprus so far. My level of understanding, you feel like an outsider. Need to disconnect from some, says Laurie. Do you mean opposing groups help you appreciate what you have? Yes, it may help you appreciate what you have. But also, it can um, also tell you something that you should not be doing as well. You've been with me for a while. Yes, but do, I don't remember your name, though, because like people go in and out. So could you remind me of your name, my darling? So, yes, Kimberly, that's right. Thank you for reminding me, love, my love. I've got really um, terrible memory, short-term memory for names and that sort of stuff. Thank you for reminding me. Mark, and you love it. Thank you very much. Maria says, Is the book in English or in Greek? Maria says, Ines Tangliga. It's in English, darling. It hasn't been translated yet. Okay? It's yours anytime. Thank you. Thank you. It does make it easy because I'm so rubbish with names. Okay, guys, so that wraps up those. In the next scope that we're going to do, I've missed you lately. Time zone, been watching the replays. Info was very helpful, Helen. Thank you, Maria. I will try to do these times. I will try. Um, it's usually hard for me at this particular time because I'm not a native of Cyprus. My parents are, but I am Greek Cypriot. Yes, born and raised in UK. Can't wait for your book to arrive. Yes, it's on your on its way, my darling. I signed it for you, sent it out last Tuesday, so it should be with you very, very soon. And do let me know when you receive it. I will be really happy to know when you receive it. Guys, on Wednesdays, Wednesdays scope, that's my Wednesday anyway, I will try to do this kind of similar time and we will be looking at twin flames. Love you too, thank you for being here. And the Twin Flames, there are loads of truth bombs on the Twin Flame Soul Disclosure. So do not miss it. 
If you're not following me, follow so that you will get a notification so that you don't miss the twin flame disclosure because this is where some super confusion and super myths come about in terms of twin flames and the whole soul scenario, okay? So thank you for subscribing to my YouTube. Hugs to you guys, hugs to you, Kathy. Kathy. Enjoyed having you on board. I will catch you on my YouTube channel or here on Periscope if you are a Perry person. Um, yes, you can order directly from me if that's what you want to do. If you want to do that, then you can PM me privately on fusion7healing at gmail.com or on my Facebook, my author page, Helen Krista Dulu, or F7H Truth Crew page, or same handle on Twitter. It's your choice, whatever turns you on, whatever it is that you like to use. Thanks again for all your lovely hearts. Thank you for your, um, yes, that's why you need to PM me so I can have your address, yeah? Thank you very much, guys. Catch you again Wednesday for our Twin Flame Soul Disclosure. Catch you then. May the truth always be the guiding force that is with you. It must there be ye. It means we are primary source. Take care for now. Lots of love.